Okay, saving photo, Ariel Eric D. What D? Hey everybody, it's Jamie here and welcome back to another video and today I'm gonna be editing this photo of Ariel and Eric from this happy honeymoon look to this tragic, dramatic, Romeo and Juliet renaissance painting moment. Okay, so let's dive right in to removing the background from our photo. And this shot is obviously inspired by the scene where Ariel saves Eric from drowning during the shipwreck and the storm. Um, actually, I wanted to do this shot originally, but I couldn't actually figure out the logistics of doing a half water, half out of the water shot. So I went with the other one, which has a more emotionally powerful feel to it, I think. And I love it because it was the first time that a Disney princess actually saved her prince before they save her. I mean, Eric did save her back at the end, but Ariel did it first. So here I am removing the background bits by bits. So this is the part that usually takes me the longest when I'm editing a photo. I'm sure there is a much quicker professional way to do this, but I do not know. So I use this tool where I simply just drag and click and drag and click and drag and click until the background is gone. So for the hair, I'm leaving it for now because um, you'll see later. So I'm actually using a eraser tool to remove the background, but at the same time leave a little bit of those flyaway strands in the photo because I feel like leaving the little bits of strands makes the photo a little bit more uh, realistic, I think because I'm not using a real background, so I want to make my photos feel as real as possible when I edit the background in. Alright, so background is gone, so now we're going to plot in our new background, which is the screenshot from the movie. And now, Eric cannot have his eyes open during the scene, so we're going to try to fake his eyes shut. So what I did is basically painted over a, um, a color that is a little bit darker than his skin tone. And I made it bigger than what we need so that we can use a soft brush to kind of blend in uh, the edges a little bit better into his skin. And I gave it a little bit of a shadow effect so it gives some dimension that it's a closed eyelid instead of a flat you know, painted surface. And I did the same thing to the other eye. And then I used a dark, small brush to paint over the eye lines so that it kind of gives off a little bit of a eyelash thing happening there. Now, since he's still smiling, we're gonna use the Lookify tool to tweak his expression a little bit so he's more of like a oh I'm drowning save me look. The same goes to Ariel because uh, she cannot be really gleaming with joy as someone is drowning so we're gonna give her a kind of a worried look on her face. You know me and my lazy butt so I'm gonna reuse the, uh, the fin from my previous photo so I can actually plot it into this photo. The same goes to the hair, because the hair in my current photo is a little bit blurred due to the focus. So I'm, I'm gonna reuse again the hair from my previous shot, so that I get some defined curls into it. And I just adjusted the colors and the tones to make the new hair blend in with the existing hair on the doll. gave the fin a little bit of a motion blur to make it look like she's flipping it 
Okay, story time break. So I'm thinking about adding in this series in all of my future videos called No One Asked For It But I Wanna Tell. I already did two parts in my Elsa video, so I'm gonna continue with part three here. So editing this photo made me think of my childhood and a certain video game came into my mind. The Little Mermaid video game. So I was a 90s kid. I grew up with all the stuff in the 90s and the early 2000s. And in the year of 2000, the Little Mermaid video game came out for the PlayStation 1. It came out shortly after the Little Mermaid 2 movie was released. So basically, it was a really fun side-scrolling game uh, where you play through the first and the second movies either as Ariel or as Melody. I remember when I was younger, I was marveling at the graphics and be like, oh my god, look at Ariel in 3D. But now looking back, it was just a bunch of blocky pixels. But anyway, it was one of my favorite games growing up on the PlayStation 1 because I love Ariel and mostly because that was the only game I had. But anyways, it was a relatively easy and a fun game for a kid to play, except level 3 which was called The Burning Ship, which basically plays out this scene where Ariel had to rescue Eric from drowning. Sounds simple enough, right? But no. As a kid, I had a lot of anxiety. I still do. So I never was comfortable with playing timed missions or when you have to save someone or stealth missions because the fear of the time running out, the fear of someone dying, the fear of being exposed during stealth missions was traumatizing for me as a kid. So, basically, like I said, it's just about saving Eric, where you have to swim from the start of the level all the way to the end, where Eric is waiting, you pick him up, and he's saved, and the level is done. Simple enough? No. The whole level is littered with debris from the ship and enemies, so if you touch any of them, you die. And moreover, the anxiety-inducing effect of Eric's health bar on the screen slowly decreasing as he is drowning and dying. Because if you swim too fast, you hit all the enemies, you die. If you swim too slow, avoiding all the enemies, Eric dies. I'm like, this is too much pressure on a kid! So, I never pass the level on my own. I always have to ask my sister's help in swimming through this level because I could never do it. But this was a pretty awesome game, especially for a Disney movie licensed game. Um, the bring back the actual voice talents from the movie. Yes, Jody Benson actually voiced Ariel here. Father? Hmm, I wonder why. And they used the soundtrack and the musical cues from the movies in the background of the level. So as you're playing the game, it's really like you're reliving the movie itself. Although the levels were way too simplified. Ariel just basically swam up to Ursula's lair and just killed her. Anywho, I have already wasted 3 minutes of your precious time with this story, so I'm gonna stop it here. Let me know in the comments below if you have played the game when you were younger, or if you faced similar problems like I did, or if you have braved it through like a champ. Alright, so now I'm adjusting the background to get the tone that I want. So like I said, I'm going all over the place because like I always say, Photoshop is all about learning and exploring and playing around in the app. So I recommend you play with as much tools as you can to find out what it can do exactly. Because you know, if you mess up, there's always undo. I wish there was an undo button in life. I would control Z so many parts of my life away. Anyway, so now that the background is done, we can actually adjust the colors and the tone of our dolls as well so that they kind of fit in with the environment and blend in together. So it doesn't look like it's like two separate photos composited together. And this part I'm giving Ariel red lips because I like red lips on her, but for some reason the early Disney Star dolls always gave her pink lips. And now we have bubbles! and I added additional hair strands to make it look more natural. So this part, I'm assuming there's a lot of explosions happening above the sea, so I'm giving it like a, a little lighting glow effect on there so she's 
being affected by the lighting from the explosions. And I removed the neck seam from Eric. I usually don't care about removing joints from dolls because it's toy photography, so I'm pretty fine with showing off the joints. But his neck joint was just too ugly, so I removed it. Alright, so now that we are done doing everything we want to on the computer, so I'm going to save this photo and put it onto my phone so I can do some final color grading and add the final effects. And when I saved Ariel Eric D, D means for drowning, okay, in case y'all naughty little minds think it's something else, that is for later. A few moments later. Alright, so we are back with the final color grading and effects, so I didn't do much, I just added some lightning effects because there's a storm happening above sea, so I wanted to add that in. I also added some glimmer effects, although I kind of missed one on his belt. I'll edit it later. And I adjusted the overall contrast and saturation and the color tone a little bit. So now that it is all done, all we need to do is plot in my watermark and this photo is good to go. I actually ended up uh, removing the joints from Ariel too because I removed Eric so I wanted both of them to be consistent in the photo. So this is the before and after look of this photo. So I'm really happy how everything turned out and it's very funny how the before photo looks like they just got married and the after photo is like five years into the marriage. <laughs> That's just me, I laugh at my own jokes, I'm sorry. So this is very funny, it could be a meme, it could be like start of a Friday night, end of a Friday night. Those actually could be really good post captions when I actually post this photo. Have you ever carried your drunk friends home before? I've done it sometimes, but most of the times I'm the drunk friend that people have to carry. <laughs> So if you're wondering, after editing these photos, where do they go? So they go onto my Instagram. So you can check me out on Instagram at Creates for more awesome toy photography content. If you enjoyed the video, you can thumbs up and subscribe here on my YouTube channel so you get more toy videos in your video feed. So thank you so much for watching everybody until the very end. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, I'm trying to draw a very ugly heart to show my appreciation for watching until the very end. I'm sorry if I don't sound as happy as I used to in my previous videos. Today wasn't exactly a good day at work. But anyways, I'm here at 1.40 a.m. in the morning editing this photo. But it's doing what I love, so that makes me happy. Alright everybody, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see more editing videos like this. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you all soon in my next video. Bye! Oh wait, bonus round. This is so funny. <laughs> it looks like he's peeking at me. Is he done editing, Ariel? Is he? Oh, he's not. Better close back my eyes.